is okay because it keeps you guys interested. <laughs> Ew, you're my butt. <laughs> There's his butt. Bubba butt. Bubba 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 butt. Bubba, 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 bubba. Story of Christmas. The angel's news. An angel flew on golden wings to tell Mary surprising things. My dear, you are God's chosen one, and you are pregnant with his son. Jesus is born. Jesus was born that very night under a star that shone so bright. When it was time to rest his head, they used a manger for his bed. Jesus has risen. Jesus grew up and journeyed around to spread God's word from town to town. He died to save us all from sin. Now we praise and worship him. The end. Wow, what a nice book. We just came back from the mall. Um, oh, Jesus. <laughs> well then. Uh, where we went to Chapter slash Indigo slash Coles, Sport Check, and. What else did we go? What else did we buy? Oh, and Pandora. Uh, Pandora for my mom's uh, Christmas gift. Uh, chapters. Because we wanted to get this boy more books on um, Christmas themed. So he got this one, The Story of Christmas. And it's nice because it's like Catholic. Well, obviously, because it's Jesus. Um, yes, finally, my husband, after almost six years of having the same board, he finally gets a new one. Holy crap! Original price was four forty nine ninety nine. There's crazy coupons, eh? Like bonus animals, like Hershey's Kisses, burger buns, and all of that. Oh man, I just bought burger buns. Compliments, <laughs> for, like just twenty miles ahead. And so this is all the things I need to obviously wrap. Um, oh, uh, Pandora. I'd open it, but she already wrapped it. it took her like five hours to wrap. This is for Jordan's nieces. This is another book. I like this book because we actually have two of these uh, pop up peekaboo books. Oh, <laughs> and this one's Christmas theme. So that's going to be awesome. Obviously some wrapping paper. Those are lint chocolates. That's my Christmas gift. That is Noah's tree. <laughs> um, thank you, snowsuit. Christmas gifts for my nieces and nephews. Same with this, same with this, same as in there. Yes, you may think it's very tall. In fact, it is. Put me against it. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, it's taller than you. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny, this is why they gave me, we asked for 161 to be put on hold. And if you see there, that's why they put it on hold, 161. But if you actually look at the board, where is it saying? Right there, 163. Oh. Alright guys, so here's the board. Kind of uh, took off the plastic there, so I'll show you guys the design. It's supposed to be like mountains there, if you guys can see, like trees. And then... There's bears. And what's actually cool about it, I don't know if you guys can really, oh, there you go. You guys see that kind of cut? So it's almost like it's etched into the wood. So it's really cool. The bear growling, going crazy, more trees. And you got the top of the mountains there and you got the moon, kind of like the stars. Let me show you guys the back. So, you got the bear claws. The scratches, you got the moon, more bear claws, and some bloodied up bears there. So, really cool. Um, for the people who actually know about snowboarding and are interested, this is uh, 
a camber rocker uh, snowboard. So by camber, as you can see, you can't really tell on the carpet, but it, it actually kind of curves up in the center and the rocker is out in the tails. So the tails kind of flare out more. So rocker means kind of like a boat design. And it's a mag tech. So if you guys actually look down the side of the board, you see how it's not really even here. It kind of sticks out at some point. That's, um, that's basically crazy traction on a snowboard. Um, yeah, this thing basically when I try to turn, it will turn me every which way I want it to and at a dime. So that's really cool. Um, it's got can or carbon in both tips there. It's got all wood and it's got the X, um, can't remember what it's called, but it's got some cool stuff there. Um, what else? The back, as you guys saw, the different color. This bright part is actually outlined to show you that <clears throat> it's been shaved down more than the center. So if you actually put the board down, the board sits kind of like this. Not crazy amount, I think it's a few millimeters, but enough to make it a, like a snowboard feel of a board. Um, because of my shoe size, which is 13, and my height and my weight, I had to get a, a taller board and always have to get a wide board because my problem is always my shoe size. So I think this is a 163. Let me check. Uh, 163 wide. So, oh, very cool. Very happy with this board. It's about an intermediate to a pro. So, you guys got the, well, let me uh, see if I can focus you guys. So it's got that rad cut. It's got the, what is it? Magna traction, that was the points I was telling you guys about. That's the, the shaved off thing and it's got the 40% rocker, 60% camber, or 60% rocker, 40% camber. And it kind of tells you what this board is, like the stiffness, whether it's more for a park, more for a big, big mountain. You know, we don't live in near any massive mountains where I would be doing this powder runs or anything crazy like that. So I think this is perfect for, uh, for like the groomers and all that stuff. So super, 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 super happy about this board and man it's almost so cool i kind of want to display it <laughs> more than ride it but oh and one last feature <clears throat> much like a snowboard if you guys notice it's a directional twin so that means both sides are equal in shape so that means you can ride on both sides but it's directional meaning it wants you to go wants you to stand a certain way so your back foot is actually as you can tell there's a lot more room at the front than there is at the back so it's more of like a surf kind of feel to it. Whereas, you know, true twins are, you would be in the center of the board. But this one, they want you to be more back in the board to kind of have the, the top going. So really cool. Super proud and happy. This is what I have come down to. My husband wrapping gifts. He must be sick. Let's see the back of that. The trick, guys. Just add a bow. Just to add a bow. <laughs> now, if I was to receive this, I'd be like, who did you hire to wrap my gift? And then do you turn it around? Bow bang. That is some funginess right there. <laughs> That's where you hand it like this. And when they grab you, like, don't be gentle with it. Off with you. Mm. Anyways. Okay, let's wrap this thing up. <clears throat> so we can't use that wrapper. Oh no, that's it. So just that and that. Cool. Tell me, tell me that. <sighs> Get over yourself. Anyways. So far, we've gotten two Christmas cards. This is the other one. Okay hey guys, so we're slowly kind of putting Noah's stuff away. Um, I took apart his um, learner. You can't find the plastic that came in, so 
it's just gonna stay like that for now. The books, extra saucer. That, that actually is supposed to go there. <laughs> um, his play pens there, diaper genie there, high chair there. It's Noah everywhere. <laughs> we went out to eat. We went to Eastside Mario's. Um, uh, Jordan was craving the pizza and I was craving the pasta. And then after that, we went to Canadian Tire and then Mastermind. And then we came home and put Noah down for bed. There was no FaceTime with my parents because they're actually at their friend's Christmas party. They went to this place called Sushi Sushi. They're so they're out having sushi. I saw some pictures, they look like they're having fun. So they're out having a good old time. Whoa. That is, yes. Sushi Wait. Sushi yeah. is also the restaurant that we had right after Ernan's, uh, no. Right and, before. And then right before and then Ernan's water broke. <laughs> like literally we got home and... No, it wasn't Sushi Sushi. It, wasn't. it was that other place. Um, yeah, that one was in like downtown, right? By Red Lobster? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good one though, Riz. I was going to continue to film my um my birth uh, my birth story. <laughs> my ten month slash um breastfeeding story, but uh obviously I would like to have Noah with me when I'm doing the ten month update. So I'm probably going to do that tomorrow and um honestly my makeup it was no longer on fleek. Uh, really tired, like, I don't know what it is. I think it's the mascara that's like burning my eyes. So I got a note to self not to wear that anymore. However, I have been on the lookout for this particular mascara by Rimmel who claims that it'll actually curl your eyelashes um, throughout like the day. So I'm on the search for that as well as um, the new L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Lipstick. Um, it's in the States. I don't know if it's here yet in Canada. And I also found out that one of our drugstores here called Rexall now owns, or not owns, now sells Real Techniques um, brushes, which is by those sisters on YouTube. Pixie, Pi no, I don't know, but it's Tanya Burr's sister-in-laws. That's their, um, that's their brand. So it's cool, as well as uh, NYX, which was formerly only sold at Target. Um, they now have it at Rexall. There is um, like a store itself in one of the malls here in Square One. So yeah. That's gonna be the fugliest wrapping I've ever seen. So, <coughs> I'll show you guys quick. It looks good, right? Nice. But if you inspect it, damn, that's ugly. Damn. I wonder what it is. You wonder what it is. You can't tell what it is. No. It's obviously the TV. <laughs> Are you gonna put a bow on that one? Oh, yeah. Which one do you wanna give him? Don't give another sparkly one. I'll give him the big ass white one. Or just give him. No, save that for Noah's gifts. <laughs> give him a gold. He's it was very... so tacky, these. It doesn't match. He's very modern. <laughs> it doesn't match. <laughs> no, he's very what? Hipster. hipster. Yeah, put it back. Put gold. Yeah. He's hipster enough for that. He's got gold pants. <laughs> yes, I'm talking about my KK. Anyways, guys, um. Have you guys ever spent. $80 on chocolate. I have. Oh, oh, I wrapped it up. I can't even show you guys. <laughs> it's that thing. <laughs> it's literally this big chocolate. It's all the lint chocolates. Ow. Um, I actually read it. It's one kilo of chocolate. <laughs> so it's one kilo of diabetes. <laughs> Coming up. Um, <laughs> Shit me. <laughs> uh, I think I'm done. Because I don't know what you want to do with those stickers. Well, I was thinking of wrapping them individually because you can't wrap all the girls' things together. But who gets what? The stickers for Aliana. And uh, so this is Aliana and this oh, is... Oh no, those are both for Aliana, sorry. 
Because that kit is for Lila. That's some bullshit, babe. Stop. Wait for it. They will never know. Oh, get that other piece of paper. That's what I was gonna do. <laughs> Buddy. Look at that. You can't even tell it's a book. Really? Can you guys tell it's a book? <laughs> Anyways, so we'll wrap that another day. But oh. Yeah. Oh, this is... Oh, yeah. I already showed you guys that. So, yeah, guys. The past few days, um... Jordan's been coming home and we've been basically going right out so that we can get some Christmas gifts done. Um, we obviously left it to the very end of things and that's because for myself, um, I need to get paid, let's be honest. Um, but as well, uh, Jordan is working like what 65 days in a row so that he can have Christmas off so these are the only times that we can actually go um, luckily enough today Noah went down for bed at his normal time um, so yeah he was exhausted a lot of things happened today uh, I don't think I vlogged it because the battery was dead anyways today was my work christmas party kids christmas party so noah and i made it to that thought i had to go to um this department store called the bay for my dad because he wanted um me to get my mom's gift uh but he ended up going himself because there was a mall right close to his work um so he ended up getting my mom a gift which is kind of surprising because I always end up getting it and then he pays me back for it or I get his credit card and go pay for it and stuff. So I'm pretty proud of him. He's learning his independence at the ripe old age of uh, 60. <laughs> Anyways guys, um, that's probably gonna it be it for this vlog. It's a short one, um, which is okay because it keeps you guys interested. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, you're my butt. <laughs> There's his butt. Bubble butt. Bubble 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 butt. Okay. If you guys were to see Jordan in person, he has an ass. <laughs> Rudy poo. Oh, we gotta move our cars, babes. Okay, guys. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.